Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to the final Tuesday teaching tips of this particular academic year. Um, now over here in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of you are already on holiday. I'm not yet, I've got another two weeks to go of my actual teaching. Uh, but I know quite a bit of you, quite a few of you over in America are already on holiday. Canada is probably on holiday as well. Certainly over in Ireland, I think the holidays have started there. And here in the UK, we're ploughing on for another two weeks or maybe three weeks. And I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to struggle. It's getting towards that end of term feeling. And I got out my juggling balls, actually. Um, Christmas pudding juggling balls, so not at all the right time of year for doing this. But um, I don't know how good you are at juggling, but I'm really not very good at juggling. I can just about catch one ball. And I believe the, the secret is to look at the apex one and look at the ball. But give me two. <laughs> you can see. I can't do it. Let's see. I did manage to do one of them. Just about. Three. No, I can't juggle three balls. And at this time of year, I feel as though I've got so many balls that I'm trying to juggle. And I am dropping an awful lot of them. I really am. Um, are they major? Are they major ones? Mm, no, but they do matter to individual people in lots of little individual ways. Anyhow, I think at this time of year, I think we all expect a little bit to feel a little tired, a little overwhelmed. And... Um, Really, I'm ready to stop. I'm ready to stop my, my regular teaching. I'm ready to kind of try and catch up with life a little bit. Um, there is life beyond the piano studio after all. So my teaching tip for you today is a really, really important one. And that is to make sure that you stop. To make sure you get some time for yourself. Now, the length of that stopping might differ from, from situation to situation. You might decide, actually, um, I'm going to go away on holiday. And that, for me, is the beginning of September. That's when my husband and I tend to go away on holiday. And I just leave everything behind, including social media, everything. So good for you to leave that social media behind. Um, others might say, oh, I can't manage to get two weeks away, you know. Well, in that case, if you're limited, then make sure that you get a good book and you set aside some time every day to read that book, you know, and it can be any book you like. It's like having a mini holiday, sitting down, giving yourself permission to sit down and read a book. Great stuff. I, it, it, it nourishes my soul and it can be the most rubbishy book out. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, obviously, there's good to read educational books as well. But then again, it's good to just sometimes put those to one side as well. So you can have a mini holiday with a book. You could have a mini holiday by just meeting up with a friend for a coffee and, and having a chat or a bit of lunch or something like that. Or you could just go to the supermarket and buy yourself a mini picnic and go off to the park with your family, with your friends, with your children and sit and just enjoy yourself without thinking about anything to do with work. And we all really need that. And we owe it to ourselves, you know, and we owe it to everybody else that we come in contact with. Because unless you look after yourself, then um, you, you have nothing to give. And it's important in the job that we do that we are, we are givers. We look after people in the teaching respect, don't we? So make sure nobody else is going to look after you as well as you can look after yourself. Yet somehow we put ourselves down the bottom of the pile, don't we? So I'm just saying to you, please, from the Curious Piano Teachers, please look after yourself this summer. Make sure you spend a bit of time just doing the thing that you want to do. And it might only be an afternoon, but if you really live that afternoon, then it can sometimes feel like a week. It really can. So before I wrap up, this is the last one, as I've said, for this current academic year. And I'll be back once I finish my holiday in September. I'll be back with more Tuesday teaching tips for next year. So I'd like to finish by saying on behalf of Sharon and myself and all the community of curious piano teachers out there, thank you so much for watching and tuning in on a Tuesday or whenever it is you catch me on YouTube or whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Your support for us means a tremendous amount. Um, and really, I, we, we do continue to think that together as piano teachers, we are stronger and together we have a message of music and of love and of making people happy, basically, that we can share and helping people to come to grips with, with all sorts of things that are going on in their lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Have a great summer wherever you are. Do take care and hope to see you back here in September. All right, bye-bye.